Hello friends, today we're going to see about the uses of the clonidine drug in spinal anesthesia. From this video, you'll learn, what is clonidine? Pharmacology actions. Uses in spinal anesthesia. Before going to the video. If you're new to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get regular notifications. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now we'll get on to the video. Clonidine is an alpha-2 adrenergic agonist. Before getting into it, we'll have a small recall in pharmacology. Our nervous system is mainly classified into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is further divided into autonomic and somatic. Among autonomic nervous is itself divided into sympathetic and parasympathetic. Here sympathetic nervous system does fight and flight works. The parasympathetic system does rest and digestion. In the sympathetic system, there are some neurotransmitters like adrenaline, noradrenaline, dopamine which acts on a particular receptor and stimulate the sympathetic system. These neurotransmitters are called adrenergic agonists and the receptors are called adrenergic receptors. According to the site of action, these receptors are further divided into alpha 1 and 2, beta 1 and 2. So, in short, Adrenergic drugs are stimulate the sympathetic nervous system and used in emergency conditions. Then coming to the adrenergic receptors as I said before it is divided into alpha 1 and 2. Beta 1 and 2. Each receptor has specific action as shown. Coming to our topic, clonidine is an alpha, 2 adrenergic agonists. This alpha 2 receptor action is an inhibition of noradrenaline and causes a reduction of sympathetic impulses to the blood vessels and brain. Reduction of sympathetic impulse causes hypertension. So clonidine is mainly used to treat high blood pressure. Clonidine in intrathecal route. As an alpha-2 agonist, spinal injected clonidine prolongs sensory and motor block increases sedation and causes hypotension and bradycardia. So, clonidine can prolong both sensitivity and motor block. But in addition, it causes undesirable side effects like hypotension, bradycardia and sedation. That's why clonidine is administered intrathically when the patient has hypertension and also in long surgeries. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.